The thing with cooking with color is that by the end of this video, my hands are going to be rainbow colored. Hey everyone, it's Inka. As many of you know, I love animation. I especially love Pixar movies. I also love making dishes inspired by different colors. And today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. I'll be picking five colors from the color palette of Pixar's Turning Red and attempt to make a three course meal using only those five colors. Quick color palette palette breakdown. We have a burgundy red shade, we have a brighter vermilion shade of red, then we have a rosy petal pastel pink and a lavender periwinkle, and then we have green. The reason I'm choosing turning red is, well, one, I love the movie. It's one of my favorites right now. I relate to the main character, Malin, so much. And two, I just think it has such like a vibrant and fun color palette that is going to be challenging, but exciting for us to work with. As you can see, these are not the easiest colors to work with, because I'm trying to use only natural colored ingredients, but we're gonna try and do it, so let's get started. <laughs> To begin with, I want a lot of red. And for this first dish, I'm thinking red dumplings. It's just gonna be this like super vibrant red on the outside. And to get that red, I'm going to use this beet powder right here. I actually used it to make pancakes in my 24 hour series. I'm gonna make some beet water right now just by adding the beet powder over here. I'm gonna add in some hop water, which will help this dissolve. Right in here, I'm going to add in my flour slowly. I'm just gonna go in with my hands because this is how I make it at home. I have my own family recipe. My grandpa made this for me a lot as a kid. It just felt really appropriate to do this today. This is now formed into a dough. I'm just gonna sprinkle my counter here. Red is actually a really important color in Chinese culture. It represents so many things like joy, luck, happiness, you know, just good fortune. And I think that's part of the reason it's like the main color. It's literally called turning red. I've been kneading this for quite a while and look at this hand. This is the power of beet everybody. So now what I'm gonna do is actually let this rest for a little bit for around half an hour or so. We'll be right back after this is rested. All right we're back with a rested dumpling dough and this is what my grandpa taught me. I'm gonna roll it out into a log and then we're going to section it off into little pieces before we roll them out into wrappers. I'm gonna cut these little bits out now. I cannot tell you the amount of times I've watched my grandpa make this. This is what he does and he does it like so much faster than I'm doing it right now. We're just slowly rolling out the edges here. You wanna thin out the edges because that's the part that's gonna fold together, but you don't want it to be so thin that it breaks. So this is the first wrapper. It's around this big. I'm gonna continue making some more right now. So I'm going to keep doing this and we'll be back when I finish all of it. All right, we have our dumpling wrappers rolled out. We're gonna go ahead and take one now. And I actually already have some filling here. This is a dumpling filling that I grew up having. It's my grandpa's recipe. Grandpa passed to mom, passed to me. I have a video on this, so you can go check that out. We're gonna go ahead and just scoop this into our dumpling wrapper here. I always end up being too greedy here. I'm going to just put some water around the edges and then just fold it in like so. It's like pleating it, you know? And you see the beautiful thing about homemade wrappers is that it really just does stick together so easily. And there you have a beautiful little beet dumpling. Green in the movie, I feel like kind of represents the mom. May's room is also green, whereas she's this like super vibrant red. So it's almost like she's trying to break out of this system that she's in, like how, you know, I think her mom wants to be calm and collected and she's like, but I have emotions. So the red and green, I think is a very interesting contrast there between her and her mom. My mom and I actually make dumplings together. By the time I make one, she's already made like five. <laughs> So let me finish up here and then we can bring the steamer in and get these going. I'm back, I have my beautiful bamboo steamer here. It's huge. So normally I would actually steam with parchment paper or like if I have some sort of steaming cloth with me at home. But today to fit the theme of red and green, I'm gonna steam it over cabbage. All right, so this is looking good. Now I'm going to put my dumplings right on top. I made like really big dumplings. I was really excited about the filling. So now I'm gonna put these right over the pot, closing in. This is gonna take a couple of minutes to steam, probably a little longer than expected because I made them so big, but um, I'm excited to see how these turn out. Woo! Look 
at how beautiful that red is. So I'm gonna plate this on here, and I also have some chives and chili oil. I think I'm just excited because I'm hungry. Why did I make them so big? What am I gonna do? Can I fit them all? Look at how big this is. Oh my God. Here you go. This is what it looks like. All right, I'm gonna put some chili oil right in here. And once again, to fit our color palette, we're gonna add a sprinkle of green in the form of chives. So Maylin and her mother are one. And there you have it. That is the first dish of our three course meal. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and work on our second course. We're back and I have moved on to the main dish of our three course meal. It's called Hong Sao Ro. So the first step I'm doing here is just melting some rock sugar in some hot oil. This is to help caramelize the pork belly, which we're going to add later. The pork belly here has already been blanched for a few minutes. This is looking kind of melted. You can see that the sugar has now become little puddles of golden brown. So this is where I'm gonna add in the pork belly. And so I'm gonna let this just sit for a little bit. What I thought was really cool too about Turning Red and the foods featured in it is that the team and the art team specifically actually put a lot of effort into doing research for everything you see in the film. I was also talking to the director Domi Shi briefly and she told me that most of the dishes featured in the movie are a combination of Thai Chinese and Cantonese cuisine. Another thing that I forgot to bring up earlier about the dumplings is that the dumplings featured in Turning Red are actually an homage to her mom's background from the north of China. It is a beautiful golden brown. I have both light soy sauce and dark soy sauce. So adding both of those in and also some rice wine. I believe this is Shaoxing rice wine. Now I'm just going to add in the water. And I know that's a lot of water, but we're gonna be braising this. We're going to be cooking this down around like 45 minutes or so. So I'm going to let this do its thing and we're gonna get started working on our rice. So again, to stick with the color palette that we have today, I'm thinking we can make purple rice, which I have done before for I only ate purple foods for 24 hours to change it up a little bit. And I'm actually going to dye my white rice and uh, purple cabbage. What we have here is just sliced purple cabbage that we've boiled for 15 minutes and then steeped again for 15 minutes. I'm gonna use this liquid to cook my rice. So I'm gonna first strain this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my rice in here first. And then we're just gonna fill this up. It looks like I put like so much food dye in here, but this is really truly just purple cabbage itself. Gonna let this rice cook. I think pork belly is pretty much done and we can plate this up. I have some cilantro here on my plate. So now we're going to plate up our pork belly. So we're going to just plate Place that on here. We're serving this up family style, hence the plating. That's why I'm plating everything in. I'm not eating this all by myself, I promise. Or maybe I am, who knows. I'm only going to put one bowl of rice for now, just so you guys can see what it looks like, but this is my purple rice. Look at that. Here's our second course. We have one more course to go through. It's gonna be dessert, it's gonna be sweet, it's gonna be fantastic, so BRB. I'm thinking donuts. So remember that one breakfast scene where Malin's mom, Ming, prepares the kanji, you know, the breakfast porridge, and then she also has this little box of donut holes. So there's like both Eastern and Western food on a table, which is something I feel like I grew up with. So fun fact, the donuts from the movie are actually from Tim Hortons, and they actually have this product called Timbit. So today I'm going to make something kind of like Timbits. So even before I go into making the donut holes, I'm going to make some homemade sprinkles because we really want to be sure to, to get those colors right. I'm going to be making both purple and green sprinkles with different food colorings, natural food colorings. Purple, we're doing ube. And then for green, we're going with this pandan extract. So we're gonna get started by having some powdered sugar here. And to this powdered sugar, I am going to add in a tablespoon of water and I'm going to put in corn syrup. The thing with cooking with color too is that by the end of this video, my hands are going to be rainbow colored. So, oh! Accidents happen and that's okay. I think we have roughly a teaspoon of upe extract here. Ooh, okay, see, I was afraid that I was going to put too much, but I feel like this should be okay so far. And for those of you who are not familiar with the flavor of ube, it's kind of like vanilla, but also like coconut-ish. So here's what we have so far. I'm going to now put this in the piping bag so then we can pipe out our sprinkles. This is the part where you need real steady hands. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna pipe these into straight lines and then we're gonna have to break this up. 
into sprinkle form. I think I'm pretty much finished with my purple sprinkles here. I'm going to now do the same thing with my pandan extract, the green ones, and we're just gonna fill the rest of this up. We actually need to dry this for around six hours or so. Luckily, I have an incredible culinary team who has already prepped some for me. So I'm gonna soft these out and then we can go into making the donut hose. Now to make the actual donut batter. I'm gonna start with some flour and then baking powder, sugar and salt. Dry ingredients in one bowl and then wet ingredients in the other bowl. I have some milk here. I'm gonna plop in my egg yolks, one egg yolk. Put in a little bit of vanilla extract. Whisk this really quickly together. Now I'm just going to combine the two together until we have a batter. I'm gonna go into adding my melted butter here. And this batter is more of like a clumpy, thicker batter. I think this looks pretty good. It is now a very sticky dough. So now that this is done, I am going to start frying my donut holes. Frying station is now ready and set up. So I have a little ice cream scoop here. This is what I'm gonna use to scoop out my donut batter. Woohoo! All right, it's in, it's in, it's in. This just really helps make sure that it's all evenly sized. These don't have to be in here for that long, just around two minutes or so until they're nice golden brown. Okay, these are now a beautiful brown. So I'm gonna take them out before they burn. So now I'm gonna go ahead and finish frying up the rest of this, and then we can go into decorating, making the glaze. My donut holes are ready and they've cooled down. I'm gonna set this here for now while I work on the glaze, which we will make into to a light pastel pink, which actually apparently the pastel pink colors and purple were inspired by Sailor Moon. It's like a very dreamy transformation. The film is supposed to be set in the early 2000s. So it's kind of like, you know, that like boy band, pop culture, fun tween energy. So we're just going with that kind of vibe here. Light pink is sort of the running theme that we also see in Turning Red. You see, remember those like pink clouds that kind of poof up when May turns into the red panda? It's kind of like a transformation thing. It's very dreamy. Creamy. In order to try to make this light pink, I am using a combination of both strawberry powder and beet powder. Give this a gentle toss just to make sure all the colors are in here. And then now I'm going to add in my milk. When I was a teenager, of course I was into boy bands. I feel like everybody goes through that phase, you know? Like, did I have posters on my wall at one point? No, because my mom wouldn't let me. But did I want to go to a concert and like sneak out? I didn't sneak out, I asked for permission. I'm so oh yeah, it looks really good. I'm gonna dip my donut holes in here and then we're gonna sprinkle some purple and green sprinkles on there. Look at that, beautiful. Before it dries up, I'm going to quickly sprinkle some green and purple sprinkles on here. All right, amazing. I hope Tim Horton is proud. Here we are, our final course for our three course meal. These beautiful pink, purple, green donuts. I think it's time to bring everything else in so you guys can have the full picture of what this this entire meal looks like. Okay, here we have the whole meal and all five colors, burgundy red, vermilion red, lavender periwinkle, pastel pink, and emerald green. Playing with natural food coloring can always be a little bit intimidating and you never really know what to expect, but I feel like the colors really came through. Dumplings obviously amazing. Oh my God, homemade wrappers are chewy and cute and this sauce, oh my God, pork belly. Look at how shiny it is because it's been braised, it's so tender. I'm gonna eat it with some rice. Mm, this purple cabbage hack is just incredible. Last but not least, gotta try my donuts. Very good. My freeze dried strawberries, oh my gosh. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had so much fun. If you have a movie you love and that you want us to try cooking with their colors, let us know in the comments below. Otherwise, we will see you next time. Bye.